Before you think you've tuned into the wrong channel, this is Alley Picks. But don't I usually talk about refinishing, repurposing, rebuilding, upcycling, all that good stuff? Why, yeah, but today I thought it was important to talk to you about what I consider break job scams. Welcome to Alley Picked and today's quick tip. Last week I went to the tire shop where I purchased these tires for my free tire rotation. As part of the tire warranty, I'm required to get these things rotated about every six months or so. Now as part of this service, they also inspect my brakes. Lo and behold, I need new rear brakes and rotors. I ask how much, they give me a quote for, guess how much, $784.16. So I need brake pads and rotors on this vehicle, which by the way, my rotors looked perfectly fine, but the guy said that they needed to be replaced together with the brake pads, that's just what they do. They don't even measure the thickness of the rotors to see if they're still good, he just says that they need to be replaced with the pad. Wouldn't that make a cool table base or a clock? Anyway, one video at a time. And they can't cut them. They could cut the front ones, but not the rear ones. That's just the way they're made on this type of vehicle. Really? I declined his offer and decided to look into this myself. So when I got home, I looked online to see how much pads and rotors would cost for my vehicle. So I went to Rock Auto and guess how much they cost? $93.26, saving me $690.90. So why is there this huge price difference? Well, more on that in just a minute. But first, I wanna show you how easy it was to replace my brakes and my rotors. Keep in mind that this is not a how-to video. I am not a brake mechanic. I just want you to see what goes into a brake job so you know exactly what you're paying for. I slightly loosen all the lug nuts while the tire is on the ground. I'll jack up the car using the tools that came with the vehicle. For safety, I add a jack stand. Now I can remove all the lug nuts. Before I go any further, I match up the replacement rotor to be sure it looks the same. I take off the caliper by removing these two bolts. Here you can see the brake pads. In order to remove the rotor, I need to remove the bracket that holds the caliper. To remove the rotor, some people just give it a whack. An easier way is to thread in a bolt on one of these holes, forcing it off. Here you can hear it release. From the old rotor, I'm going to replace this rubber cap. This is an access port to get at this dial which releases the parking brake. You're not going to need to worry about that unless your rotor sticks, in which case you'll adjust that dial releasing the emergency brake. Replace all of the brake hardware. Press in the caliper. Reassemble. I'm obviously leaving off some of the detailed steps. For your vehicle, the process will be similar, but I recommend watching other videos for your specific make and model. I repeat, my video is not a how-to video. Back to the price discrepancy. Why was the tire dealer gonna charge me 784 bucks for the parts that I bought for 90? Well, of course they install them, first of all. <laughs> but I actually called back the tire dealership and ask them why their quote was so high. They gave me several reasons. Number one, they offer a one year parts and labor warranty. Okay, whatever. I don't think it's worth that much difference, but the other thing they do is use original Napa parts, which are supposedly better and they're definitely more expensive. But how much more expensive? I looked online. The Napa parts for this vehicle cost $273.47. They were gonna charge me $542.21, jacking up the price a whopping $268.74.
Another thing the tire shop told me was that they could never compete with Rock Auto prices because Rock Auto doesn't have any overhead. Well, that's not completely true. While they don't have a brick and mortar store, they do have many employees, business expenses, and a large advertising budget. They also told me that Rock Auto buys all the discontinued stuff when a place closes down. I checked the parts they sent me and all these are readily available on Amazon and from the manufacturer. They're also charging me $129 for labor, a brake flush for $99.95, and some fee called SSHM for $15, bucks, whatever that is. One might argue that these charges are normal in the industry. Markups are expected, and they're only charging me the going hourly rate for their labor. Now, I get that part, but if they're jacking up the price by $268 bucks just to open the box, that's a scam. I don't care if it's normal or everybody else does it. In my book, that's a ripoff. Now, if you don't agree, feel free to comment in the comment section of this video and share your break horror stories. Thanks for watching Alley Picked and today's quick tip. Legally, I can't even let you drive out of here on these. Oh, please, can't you let me slide this time?